As we noted in a recent Simple Flying video, it's the end of an era at Qatar Airways, as Group CEO Akbar al Bakr is set to step down after 27 years with the airline. One Bada Mohammed al Mir has been named the new Group Chief Executive of Qatar Airways and will take his new position on November 5, 2023. So, who is this new CEO? Let's explore the topic for today's video. Bada Mohammed al Mir was educated in Lebanon and the US and graduated in engineering from the American University of Beirut and the University of Colorado. He is, however, no stranger to the world of aviation. He is currently the Chief Operating Officer at Hamad International Airport, a position he has held since 2014. Over the past nine years, he's been instrumental in transforming the airport into a global hub, offering passengers one of the world's leading airport experiences. The airport was named by Skytrax as the world's best airport in 2021 and 2022. At this year's awards, Hamad International Airport was ranked the second best airport in the world, but still picked up the accolade of best airport in the Middle East for the ninth consecutive year. Almir is also responsible for successfully steering the airport's operations through the pandemic, as well as employing new technologies to ensure passengers have an efficient and hygienic journey through the facility. Following a multi-phase expansion plan, the airport celebrated the opening of The Orchard in 2022, a 60,000-square-foot indoor tropical garden, complete with its own waterfall, reminiscent of the one found at Singapore Changi Airport. It could be said that Almir will have some big shoes to fill in his new role as Group Chief Executive. His predecessor, Al Bakr, has been instrumental in transforming Qatar Airways into the globally recognized brand that it is today. Under Al Bakr's leadership, Qatar Airways has been named World's Best Airline by Skytrax, a record-setting seven times. Other recent achievements include a successful recovery from the pandemic, a robust operation throughout the FIFA World Cup in 2022, and continued fleet development and network expansion. Under Al Mir's leadership, Qatar Airways will soon resume services to several destinations not served since the pandemic, including Osaka, Penang and Venice. He will also oversee the delivery of a significant number of aircraft, ranging from the Boeing 737 MAX 10 to the 7779 and Airbus A350-1000. Thanks to his role as Chief Operations Officer at Hamad International Airport, Almir comes to Qatar Airways with a wealth of experience and a detailed knowledge of how the airline works. This makes him the ideal candidate to take the reins of the airline from November 5th. But what do you think of Qatar Airways' new Group Chief Executive? Do you see any significant changes being made to the airline's operations? Share your thoughts by commenting below. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.